What? I'm gonna show you how to make your very own decoding wheel? Hello YouTube, in today's video I YouTube, I'm gonna show you how to make a DIY decoder wheel. For those who don't know, the decoder wheel looks like this. So watch the following clip where the spy ninjas are using it to just get a general idea of what's going on. That to R? Right there, so P equals R. So umbrella is right here. So the decoder wheel is made out of two parts, an inner section and an outer section. In the inner section there's alphabet and in the outer section there's pictures. By adjusting the inside wheel, we're able to associate numbers, letters with pictures. And we're able to crack codes and passwords. But what if you don't have a decoder wheel? You won't be able to decode stuff like this. And I, Uchter, don't have the money to buy a decoder wheel, so I'm going to make one for myself and in the process show you, the people, how to make one also. Let's begin. I'm going to show you two ways of making it today. The version where you need a computer, and the version where you just need paper. So the version where you're going to do it on the computer, just load a picture of the decoding wheel, so this is what you have. And now we're going to use photo editing techniques, so we're going to be able to freely rotate the inside, just like if it was a real decoder wheel. So I'm using Photoshop Elements, I believe this is like a $50 software, but I have this tool right here, right here, okay? The quick selection tool. You're going to want to click that, and then gently go over... So as you could see, no, closer, closer, like very close. So as you could see, there's these dotted lines around the inner circle. What you're going to want to do is Control C, Control V to copy the layer. And as you could see, now we have another layer right here. And this layer is just the inner circle. This means we're able to just adjust the inner circle like this. See, we're rotating. Is, is this on film? Yeah. You see, you see how we could rotate it like if it's nothing? See, now you could decode anything. I'm cracking the code! I'm cracking it! Cracking the code! But for those who are saying, but Uchter, I don't have a computer. But Uchter, I don't have Photoshop. I have it settled for you guys also at home. You're just gonna want to make two circles like this and then split it up. Like, whatever you do, cut out the circles and then you'll be able to adjust the inside layer. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this right now because I have the computer version, but I invite you to become the decoder on your own. Go on a chair that rotates like this and put the decoder on your head and see, now you're a decoder yourself. I'm cracking the codes. I'm cracking the codes, okay? I'm cracking the Bruh. I'm not crazy. Or, do you remember these? It's a fidget spinner. You could use this to rotate the inner circle, so then you could crack the code like that. And worst case scenario, just cut it out and rotate it with your finger. You won't have a smooth rotation, but this is a DIY project on the Uchter channel. Welcome to the second part of the video. So I haven't done one of these in a while now because I've been so busy. And look, I'm not bringing this back for like a whole regular everyday thing, but when I can, I'll try to film these as much as possible. Without further ado, the first comment is from Yusuf2. I really stopped watching the Spine Ninjas, but we'll never stop watching Uchter. Well, I think we should still watch the Spine Ninjas, because Uchter videos can exist without the Spine Ninjas. And Yusuf Tube is one of the people who is like commenting so much. Uchter, bring back the second part, and he was trying to like mobilize people in the comment sections to get attention to getting the second part back. So I just want to highlight Yusuf Tube for this movement he tried to create, and created, and successfully, I guess, because here's the second part again. But yeah. Anyways, I think we should um, continue watching the Spy Ninjas, but don't stop watching Uchter. That's very nice of you. Thank you very much, Yusu. Next comment is from Brayden Taylor. Play Roblox like Melvin and Regina for a video. Bruh, look at the game I'm playing. Roblox Big Paintball. So Big Paintball was like a lot funner before, and I, I, I don't like what they did to the game, to be honest. Like, they sped up the game, but for some reason now it just runs slower on my computer, so I wish they would just bring it back how it was, nice and slow, you know? But anyways, thank you for the comment, Brayden. Next comment is from Dia Harizaj. Hi. Hi, Dia. Thank you for the comment. Next comment is from Ella Delisi, who's publicly subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. Hi, Uchter. How are you doing today? And I'm sorry I'm so late. I'm not doing bad, so I'm doing good, I guess. A bit tired, like always, but I'm not doing bad. I hope everyone else is having a good day during these tough times, for some at least. But anyways, thank you very much for the comment, though. And thank you very much for being publicly subscribed to the YouTube channel. The next comment is from CWCXHacker, who's also publicly subscribed to the channel. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, CWCXHacker. 
next comment is from Joseph Sito, who's also publicly subscribed. By the way, for those who don't know, the little purple boxes to heart means that like these people comment a lot and I heart their comments a lot or whatever, but yeah. These are like, if you see these purple boxes around someone's name, it means they're like regular viewers of the YouTube channel, or at least regular commenters. But anyways, Joseph Sito comments, I was first, then I deleted my comment that I was first. Okay, so for those who don't know, Joseph Sito gets like first 95% of the time on YouTube videos. And he's saying he was first, and then he deleted his comment that he was first for some reason. So there's no re there's no real way to prove that Joseph Sito was first. But that said, thank you for being publicly subscribed to the channel. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you for leaving comments all these times, despite the second part of the video really not going on for the past few months. Next comment is from Jerick Joshua. Congrats, Sito. You'll have 1k comments in Utrecht's channel. Hashtag congrats. So maybe Joseph Sito has no joke, I would say. I, maybe 400 comments. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not too sure when he started watching. Maybe during the summer. I'm not sure. Maybe Joseph Cito could let us know in the comment section down below. But yeah, if he keeps it up in like a year or two, he will definitely have 1K comments on the YouTube channel. So I don't know if that's like, I don't know if that's an accomplishment or what. But yeah, anyways, road to 100 comments on the YouTube channel. Next comment from Max Warson. Tomorrow is DIY Tuesday. Let's see how you YouTuber can make a decoder wheel. Well, I hope... Uh, I'll be honest, the way I did it with the computers and all that, it's not even me who came up with it. It's my brother who like showed me because he was like, we could maybe do this and then like it actually worked. So I decided to make a video out of it. And I realized like some people are way better than me at making these DIY gadgets and maybe I'm not the most qualified to be doing this. But yeah, I hope everyone and also you Max, you enjoyed this video and you're satisfied with how the decoder wheel turned out. But I don't know. And these DIY Tuesdays are like fun to make and I hear they're fun to edit. And yeah, it's just a win when the people seem to enjoy watching them. And yeah, they just take a bit of time to make it and a bit of time to edit compared to a regular YouTube video because it's not just like me going like, what? Project Zorgo this, Project Zorgo that, this finding just this, this finding just that. And then like, you know, just screaming at the camera, waving my hands around, something crazy like that. But it is what it is, it's fun to make and you're using your brain in a different way, your imagination and all of that. And right now I've seen comments, people like, okay, you should play Roblox because the Spy Ninjas are playing Roblox. And it's, I, I, look, I don't mind. I want to play Roblox and I sometimes do play Roblox on my free time. Like there's a few couple of good games. Like I play like once a week for a few minutes here and there just to like relax a bit. I don't really have time to game or anything like that, but I, I would like to make like regular Roblox videos, Rubik's Cube videos, vlogs on the second channel, but it's just so difficult with the time. Like even now it's 10 p.m. and I have to go to bed in an hour, you know? But it is what it is, not complaining, just saying it's like a time constraint. But anyways, this was the second part of the video, I just want to thank everyone for watching up till now. And yeah, second parts, they're not, they're not going to be in every video, but yeah, just stay tuned. They're not going to be, I don't know, I'll do my best. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and let's get back to the main part of the video. Anyways, I showed you two ways on how to make a Spy Ninja decoder wheel on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the channel for more content. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, consider checking out the channel and subscribing to it for more content. Have a nice day, see you in the next video, and goodbye. Oh, my finger.